What's going on everybody? Welcome back. Thank you for watching this incredibly immature video. It should be a lot of fun. So last week I uploaded a video shooting balloons with my 12 gauge trench gun and I had so much fun making that video. I thought I would get some more and try it again. And we got a lot more, 30 to be exact, and they're freaking huge. So yes, I bought 30 giant balloons and lined them up in a single file line right up to the backstop. I actually bought 50, but when I started putting this whole thing together, I realized it was a lot more difficult than I thought it would be. So I stopped at 30, I had about 10 or 15 of them pop, and I'm sure there will be more pop before I actually get around to shooting them. But you can see just how big these things actually are. So these are 36 inch balloons and they're not the biggest that I saw. They did have 72 inch, I think, but those were like 15 bucks a piece and I didn't want to spend $5,000 on balloons. I'm not rich. Plus I don't think it would change the results too much anyway. These are plenty big enough. So what we're gonna do is try to line these up perfectly, put a bullet in them and see how many giant balloons we can pop with a single bullet. And I'm selfishly doing this video because I just wanna see what it looks like from the side when you pop 30 giant balloons all at the same time because it should look pretty dang sweet. So the way I've set these up is with clo- Excuse me. So the way I've got these set up is with clothespins and a paracord string that's pulled extremely tight from front to back. Obviously the main issue is keeping them in a straight line and not blowing all over the place, kind of like they are right now. So I might have to tape them together or smush them together and keep them in a line long enough to shoot them. There went one. Now I honestly don't know what to expect on this one. My initial thought was if we place the bullet correctly, it would just blow right through every single one of them. But now that I think about it, I'm not so sure because although balloons are very thin, there's a ton of air pressure in there. And when that bullet breaks the first layer, it could, you know, cause the bullet to tumble, deter it, stop it. I'm really not sure. Now the best caliber for this would probably be the 50 BMG because it's dang near unstoppable, but we're not really set up to shoot 50 cals up here yet and I couldn't take all these giant balloons down into the woods. So we'll start with the AR-15, which I think should be enough, and if it's not, I did bring other guns. And don't worry, one way or another, we will destroy every single one of these balloons before I leave here today. That's a promise. All right, 62 grain green tip 556 coming out of the Daniel Defense Mark 18. We actually just lost one of our balloons, so there is a little gap, but every time I go to refill it, I lose one or two more. So we're just gonna go for it. Hey guys, so you might've noticed the magazine in my Mark 18 looks a little bit different, and that is because it is wrapped and Gunskins, our sponsor for today's video. So Gunskins make wraps for all kinds of firearms and accessories that you can apply yourself right at home. So you don't have to send anything off, you just follow the instructions, maybe apply a little heat from a hairdryer, and boom, it's done. It is literally so easy, a kid could do it. They have all different colors and patterns and kits to fit virtually any firearm. And I actually got a couple mag skins that they sent me to try out. So these are wraps you can put on your rifle magazines. You can see we've got the Tan Skull, and the Lead Bull, which is obviously a play on Red Bull. I drink a lot of Red Bull, so I think this one is actually kind of funny. And of course, the cracked Liberty Bell that I have in my Mark 18. So if you're looking for a durable, cost-effective alternative to Cerakoting or Hydro Dipping, be sure to check out Gunskins.com. It's cheaper, way easier to do, and it's made right here in America. Plus, you can remove it or replace it if you, you know, wanna change things up, which you can't really do with Cerakote. So again, a big thank you to Gunskins for sponsoring the video. I really, really appreciate the support. If I were to take this shot with no balloons, it would hit that railroad tie right where our hook's at. So this should be a good shot. Ah, we got about half of them. <laughs> Well, I'm kind of disappointed, but that is what I wanted to see. So it looks like we got probably 10 to 12 of them before our bullet actually dipped down and went into the ground. So you can see where that bullet exited out the bottom and dug a hole right there in the ground. So I thought the 5.56 would have enough to go through all of these without deflecting or, you know, being deterred. 
but it looks like it didn't. So let's get out the 308 and see if we can finish off the rest of them. Now I would get out more balloons and retry all 30, but I'm not kidding you guys. I've been out here all day long just getting these set up. It's a lot more work than it looks like. So let's get out the 308 and see if we can take out the remaining 15. And you can see the clothespins that were holding all those balloons in place. Surprisingly, none of those came off. They actually held on to them. All right, 308 full metal jacket. This is probably what I should have started with because it will penetrate better, um, but there's so much that goes into this. I don't know if this will work either. Let's try. I think we got 14 or 15 left. And the rifle is a Savage Axis 308. <laughs> Same result. <laughs> it looks like 10 to 12 is the magic number. Boy, I tell you what, that looks cool either way. <laughs> I don't know if the camera is picking it up like it is in real life, but it just looks like confetti going everywhere. So even with the 308, it looks like 10 or 11 is kind of the magic number. Just to give you a little bold action gun porn. I love it. Now I haven't watched the footage yet, so I don't know how it looks, but I can assure you I was aiming straight through the middle of that first balloon. Sometimes when cameras are up high, it can look like you're aiming at a downward angle, uh, but I definitely wasn't. If that bullet went straight, it would have went through every single one of those balloons, but you can see probably 10 to 12 feet from where I pulled the trigger, our 308 dipped down and went into the ground just like our 556 did. So that's our 308 and our 556 is way back here so virtually the same result now if i could do it all over again i might aim a little high anticipating the bullet drop but you never really know if it's going to go up or down or out one of the sides and both of those bullets were right in the middle of humongous three foot balloons and they were only able to take out 10 or 12 which is a lot uh, but it's not the 30 that i was hoping for <laughs> let's go ahead and finish off what we got left mossberg shockwave 12 gauge Only took three. <laughs> Well, we had five balloons and it only took three shots. And that's why I love shotguns. <laughs> All right, guys, that's gonna do it for me today. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. There is no substance whatsoever to videos like this, and that's pretty much all I have to say. But every once in a while, I like to come out here and just have fun. This is something I was curious about, and I had an absolute blast. So I hope you all were at least somewhat entertained and enjoyed the video. If you did, please let me know down in the comments below. As always, hit that like button for me, guys. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time.